So far, we've decluttered almost all the inside of my house. We've done all the living room, kitchen, coat closet, and even most of the upstairs too. It's been a long and tiring journey, but to be honest, I don't regret one thing and I would do it again 10 times over. We as a family have learned so much throughout this minimalism process, and if this is your first time here, then don't shy away from me when I say the word minimalism, because I know how it sounds and trust me, it's not like that. Minimalism is not living with nothing. It's simply learning how to live less in order to make it easier for you to maintain a comfortable home and more importantly, an overall simpler life. I've definitely noticed a lot of change in our way of living throughout all of our home. But I'll have to say the biggest shift I've seen when it comes to keeping a clean and organized space is the kitchen. It's easiest to maintain the kitchen because one, we don't have as many dishes to keep up with and because we've eliminated all the things that we don't need. We don't have any extra items laying around and taking up space and adding clutter. We're also just not buying thoughtless items anymore and we're being a lot more mindful about what we bring into our home. The same concept applies with buying food too. I'm always making sure to not overbuy on our groceries every week so it's way easier to keep an organized and functional pantry and fridge. I'm always buying our groceries online so it can get exactly what I need and nothing extra. Getting my groceries delivered fresh to my door each week has changed the game for making our lives easier in this whole process of simplifying our home and our lives for the better. And that brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Misfits Market. Misfits Market is the online value grocer dedicated to making affordable, high quality food more accessible while also helping break the cycle of food waste. Avoid the hassle of grocery shopping in person and tackle your list in just minutes with their curated mix of high quality groceries. The assortment is updated weekly, so they're always adding new products they think you'll love and better pantry basics you'll want to try. Think less with their weekly grocery plan where you'll get your cart started each week with their best-selling items. Customize your order, pause or skip that week depending on your schedule. Everything in my order was so fresh out of the box all the way from meats to dairy products. You guys know I'm all about finding ways to simplify my life and my home and getting groceries delivered by Misfits Market is a great great way to implement that. If you're interested in shopping high quality groceries online and have the convenience of getting them delivered straight to your door, then definitely check out Misfits Market. You can use my discount code Kenzie15 to save $15 off your first Misfits Market order when you spend $35 or more. Terms and conditions apply. I will leave a link in the description for you guys so it's easy for you to start shopping. Thanks again to Misfits Market for sponsoring today's video. It's a big day today because this is the last space inside of my home that we have to organize and declutter. Today, we're gonna finish off our path to living a more simple life by minimizing the worst and the most cluttered space in my house, the master closet. You've seen my house through it all, you guys, and if you've watched my previous episodes, you'll know that many hidden areas of my home look disastrous, and this space is probably the worst one. This is yet another result of not keeping up with my space, putting it off for months, and just simply not caring enough to maintain a functional space. But it's fine, as always, we're gonna fix it together and conquer this burden that's hindering us from living an easy everyday life. I didn't even know where to start in this hurricane, you guys. So I decided to go through all of my hanging clothes first. And oh my gosh, that reminds me, I actually have a clip from the first video of this series. And here, let me show you, it's just so funny. And I think the project that I'm most nervous about is our master bedroom closet. It is, it literally looks like a hurricane hit in our closet, but I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride with me and we're gonna do it together. Yeah, so I was scared then and I'm still scared now. I've definitely been putting this space off for months and months and over time it just kept piling up and getting worse and worse. I'm going to be honest and real with you guys because that is how it is around here. Before today, I don't remember the last time that I actually folded our clothes. We've been living out of laundry baskets and this literal pile of clothes on top of our dresser. Like what in the world, you guys? I don't even know how this has come to this, but I'm just gonna own up to it and fix it because that's really all I can do at this point. 
I am not a cleaner, like I don't enjoy to clean. In fact, I don't like it at all. So it's very hard for me to keep a clean space when I don't want to clean every day. And then when I don't want to clean every day, my space ends up looking like this. So this is kind of why we have to eliminate most of these clothes. So even if our space is messy, it won't look like this. It will still be a mess at times, of course, but it will be much more easier to pick up and keep clean when most of these extra clothes are gone. And the fact that I will be able to clean up my closet in 10 minutes rather than four hours at a time is motivation in itself for me to keep up with this every day. You'll see my husband Nick help me out a lot in this video because I mean, this is his closet too. He definitely had to get on board with this whole minimalism thing because he needs to pick out what he wants and what he doesn't want. This was a team effort for sure and he was such a big help. So if you can find someone to help you through this or even just someone to keep you company while you do it, it just holds you more accountable to have somebody there with you and it honestly makes it more fun. We actually dropped our kids off at their Gigi's house, which is my mom, and we had the house all to ourselves so we could get this project done fast with no extra distractions. And thank you, mom, that was so helpful to us. I know she's watching this because she's one of my biggest fans. But anyways, to the point, try to make this daunting task a fun and positive experience. We blasted some music and jammed out as we were doing this, and it was honestly therapeutic, and it just felt so good to be so productive. So my strategy when I'm decluttering this huge pile of clothes is I'm just taking each piece out one by one and I'm just seeing if I want to get rid of it or if I want to keep it. So some things are clean and some things are dirty so all the clean stuff will go into a pile that I will fold and then all the dirty stuff will go into a laundry basket that we will wash. And then everything that we're going to donate we're just putting straight into the black trash bags so we don't get anything mixed up along the way.
And look at that. You can actually start to see the floor now. That means we are slowly but surely making progress. Nick is gonna finish cleaning off the rest of the floor in all of his clothes while I start folding some clean clothes that we're keeping simply because I needed to switch tasks and do something different because I was just getting bored of sorting through all the clothes in the closet and I felt like I just needed to change up my location a little bit. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you just wanna quit, try doing a different task that will reach you to the same goal. I know I'm gonna have a whole wardrobe to fold, so I figured I might as well break up the task and get a load done right now as Nick does his clothes in the closet. That load of clothes is folded and the closet is mostly cleared out now, so I'm gonna go in and clear out all of the drawers in my dresser. I have not touched most of the clothes in here for months because as you guys saw it before, it was so messy and I really couldn't even get into the drawers at all. Most of the clothes are old in here and I just haven't worn them in years. My style has definitely evolved over time too. And if I find something that's not fitting in the current stage of my life, then I just donate it. I see some people have a storage box for clothes that aren't being used for that season. So for example, you would have a winter storage box. So in the summertime, you could only see and use your summer clothes. But to be honest, I didn't wanna do that. I feel like I would forget about the box or just be lazy and never get the box out. And I pretty much wear all my clothes all year round. So yeah, I don't have a problem wearing a sweatshirt in 80 degree weather. I do not discriminate. So therefore I'm keeping all of my clothes out and if there's not room for some, then they just need to go up for adoption because unfortunately that means they're not valued enough to stay in my closet. Sorry not sorry to the clothes I never wear, it's time for you to find a new home that you can use instead of cluttering up mine. I need your guys' opinion on something. So although this is the last space on the inside of my home, that doesn't mean we're quite done yet. We still have to do the garage, which is now holding most of the clutter and everything that I got rid of from my house is now in the garage. So my question is, would you guys be interested in 
seeing a full garage declutter and clean out. I just want to make sure that that would be something you would be interested in before I film it because this project will not be easy. Like I said, it's basically holding like 75% of the stuff that used to be in my house. So you can only imagine how cluttered it looks in there. But yeah, definitely let me know if you guys want to see that. I'm also planning on filming a minimal house tour and a little update soon about how living with less has changed our lives and how it has benefited our home. The clothes are all done now, so now we have to move on to the rest of the closet. There's a lot of different bags and just knickknacks in here that do not belong in here. So we either have to relocate them to a more appropriate location or of course donate them to someone who's gonna use them more than we do. So I'm just basically going through our bags, our hats, our winter clothes, and any extra items. And if I haven't touched it in the last few months, but especially the past year, bye bye. And look at that, we're all done already. Let me remind you what our closet looked like before we started, and here it is now. I made sure to leave extra space in our drawers because we still have some dirty clothes in the wash that need to be put away when they're done, but we definitely accomplished our goal to get rid of most of these clothes. My closet will be so much easier to maintain now that all the extra clothes we don't need are eliminated. I'm so excited to finally be done minimizing the inside of our home, and this is just another step towards making our lives more simple for us. And speaking of that, please don't forget to check out Misfits Market so you can have yet another way to simplify your home and your life. Subscribe if you're new here and make sure to leave a comment down below if you're taking on this journey for yourself so we can motivate each other and do it together. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in a few days in a new one. Bye!